Okay, let's look at scenario number three now. Uh, it says you, your advertising team has selected you to present uh, the, uh, your ideas for an ad campaign to the executives of Procter & Gamble. Um, it says that uh, you have developed a completely new advertising scheme for their major toothpaste and tooth care products. Your presentation will incorporate video, computer-generated gener graphics, uh, and handouts. You have the disadvantage of speaking at a conference room at Procter & Gamble. Uh, this, could be the present this presentation could be the career capstone of your career track, not to put any pressure on you. Uh, so what do we know? Well, demographically, and that's the first question, is what do we know demographics-wise? Uh, we know that they're the executives of Procter & Gamble. They're probably affluent. Uh, they are uh, the um, educated and decision-making body uh, of Procter & Gamble, so a uh, fairly intimidating crowd. Uh, we, we know some things about the context, and that probably should be uh, pointed out here, uh, that your presentation uh, will take place at their conference room, even though, uh, as far as you're concerned, uh, you really have a lot of, of issues here uh, in terms of, of what you're trying to get done. You're trying to do video, uh, computer-generated graphics, and handouts. Uh, so all of that means you want to try to see the room uh, before you, you have the uh, you know, requirement to speak, uh, but um, you, don't, you don't want to ask the executives for permission for that. You, you talk to an administrative assistant or somebody else uh, that will give you access to that room. Uh, so the second set of questions that we ask are, uh, what, um, what, what is their attitude toward uh, my, your topic? How, how are they responding to this? And so, uh, you know, it, you're an advertising team. Uh, they, they like the idea that, that you're going to help them uh, sell their product. So they're not hostile to you, uh, but you are trying to persuade them of something, and you uh, are probably not the only person that they're going to hear from that day. So um, you want to be quick, you want to be effective, you want to be engaging, and you want to stand out. Um, the pressure here uh, isn't just that you know it could be the capstone to your career track, uh, but there's a lot riding on this. So uh, your, your, your colleagues really want you to, to step up your game and to think about how you uh, accomplish this. Uh, finally, what are some expectations that they have? And when we think about the expectations that they have, uh, again, you're speaking at their conference room. Uh, so they're going to expect you to work on their schedule in terms of the other program. They're, they're listening to several of these. Um, their expectation is that you're going to come with fresh new ideas, that you're going to speak to their needs, so that this is not a, a time for them to do something for you. This is for you uh, to do something for them. This is clearly uh, a persuasive context. And again, you think about all of those factors, both audience analysis, uh, also some contextual analysis. The, the situation, the physical, logistical structure of this place is, is interesting. Um, the the, the uh, expectations they have, their attitude toward you and toward your topic, it all makes for a very pressure-filled speech that you'll give. But you will rise to it, my friends, because you're awesome.